so inspiring to hear from you, President Brown, and I hope that the audience will indulge me just about 30 seconds of a uh, point of personal privilege so that I might ask you to help me recognize her for something else. Most of you know that in the last week of October and for most of the month of October, we celebrated at a national level the national celebration of pro bono. You should also know and remember that this year, under Paulette Brown's leadership, she created something called And Justice for All, an ABA Day of Service. And so she took the idea of a national celebration of pro bono, kicked it up 10 notches, and not just gave it a voice and gave it the importance uh, and the stature that it deserves, and let the public know about all the good work she just talked about that you do and that other lawyers do and the private lawyers and the corporate lawyers and the government lawyers who are involved in, in terms of pro bono efforts. But she did so herself. She went out to Portland, Oregon, and she herself volunteered at a senior citizen center in Portland, Oregon, and provided legal services to people who need it. That is servant leadership. That is leading by It is uh, now my great privilege and honor to present the Clara Shortridge Folks Award. And for those of you that don't know, Ms. Folks was the first female lawyer on the West Coast and the first woman admitted to the California Bar. She's also the person who pioneered the idea of the public defender. She was the first female deputy district attorney. She was active in the suffrage movement and she was a distinguished journalist. But she was also a single working mother of five children. This woman could do it all. I am pleased today to present the Clara Shortridge Holtz Award to the Orleans Public Defenders. Established in 2007, Orleans Public Defenders now represent 85% of all persons accused of criminal offenses in the Orleans Parish each year. That's about 20,000 children and adults. This program is honored for the extraordinary turnaround of an indigent defense system which prior to Katrina was widely regarded as one of the worst in the nation. Prior to the storm in 2005, the public defender system in this city was little more than a room at the courthouse in this parish. Uh, with just part-time lawyers housed at the courthouse. And it was funded largely by fines and fees, particularly traffic tickets, and we know how successful that is. With these already limited revenue streams almost entirely eliminated after Katrina devastated the city, the right to counsel for those accused of crimes was basically non-existent. It became impossible for state and local governments to ignore the calls for reform from the Justice Committee community because the cries became so loud when it was clear that this non-existent system for indigent defendants just could not be sustained, and thankfully it was not. By 2008, after prolonged and concerted advocacy, systemic reform passed by the Louisiana legislature provided the structure and most importantly the funding which formed the foundation for the creation of the Orleans Public Defenders. Indigent defense in New Orleans quickly became unrecognizable from its previous incarnation. And Orleans Public Defenders is now known for its zealous, attentive, and effective representation. The program is a leading innovator in the community-oriented approach to public defense, in securing justice for clients inside and outside the courtroom, protecting access to counsel, and supporting successful rehabilitation and reentry. The program also works to challenge systemic injustices, notably through lawsuits against the Orleans Parish Sheriff for continued failure to provide constitutional access to clients, through litigation forcing prompt probable cause determinations for poor people and first appearance, where we know it's so critical, and by working to reduce mass incarceration through diversion programs. For the extraordinary impact the program is making, particularly in stark contrast to what it looked like just a decade ago, it's my great pleasure and honor to present the Clara Shortridge Fultz Award to Derwin Button, Chief District Defender at Orleans Public Defender.
It is an unfounded ad hominem attack on the poor, people of color, and the otherwise disenfranchised who dare ask our criminal justice system to live up to its promise of equal justice under the law. So the next time some stakeholder or decision maker tells you our client, uh, our client community are not entitled to a Cadillac defense, tell them equal justice is, is just that, equal. And there is no special brand of justice manufactured or set aside for our clients and our communities. Neither Cadillac or Ford or Chevy or Toyota have any monopoly on justice. Our clients and the communities we serve, however, do. Thank you all for this honor. It is a privilege to accept.